Hi guys, so this is video 16 of Duke and Prince and today we're going to be introducing the boys to Ryder. So I'm really excited about this video um, and it's taken me many months and guys there was a time where I thought my god I'm never going to get on this pony. You know, he's too sharp, he's too, he's too scared and actually this is not safe. So I, hopefully I show through these next so many clips that actually it can be done, it's just reading the situation, taking your time um, and yeah, I'm really, really pleased. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. So though this is a really sweet picture, I think it's really important to put it in because I spent a huge amount of time with Duke in my wash bay, um, making a fuss of him, grooming him, um, teaching him to park in there and making sure that he feels confident and relaxed. And sitting on the block doing emails, making a fuss of pup, um, it really does help him because he's learned actually having another animal in there relaxed and happy means that it's safe. So this is where I'm going to start my laying over um, and getting on. I'm out of the weather. There's not so many distractions. The front is open so he can see out. He can see out across the fields and that's perfect. So before I ask any more of him, I'm just going to check where he is. So is he relaxed? So I'm going to ask for a little bit of pressure and release. I'm going to lower the head. And you can see here he's holding. Looks relaxed, but he's not. So I'm going to put my finger in the mouth, crack the mouth, and encourage him to soften and let go. Those of you that have seen my videos will appreciate this a little bit more. But it is really important that I just get him to just let go before I ask anything else. And you can see there, we get a lovely release. So that's good. I'm just going to show you this again. So I ask for a little pressure release. So I ask for softness of the rain, um, lowering the head, and I don't get anything. So I put the finger in the mouth away from the teeth, lift very lightly, and then he releases. So I take all the pressure away. Then I make a big fuss of him. And you can see that his forelock is tucked behind an ear, so I can see his eyes better. Then go play around the blocks. Now, it's really important, guys, with the mountain block, they move. You know, they're not always quiet. Things happen, you slip with muddy, wet boots. So teach your pony to be used to um, different noises. Teach them to get used to the blocks moving, you slipping off them. Sounds daft, but it's really important. Now, you'll notice I'm on the um, offside. So for me, um, I did start Duke off on the left. I've put these videos in to hopefully catch your attention early on. And you can see how Duke's really quite unsettled here. You know, look at his eye. Um, and this pony, you know, when I started doing anything with him like this, it really was a big deal. And I thought, oh, my God, you know, what's happened to him? This is going to take me months. Um, I don't want him to be frightened and tank. So here I'm playing with my high vis <laughs> and, you know, he's not fussed. There's lots of things that he's not bothered about. But again, guys, watching my videos, you'll appreciate I've done a huge amount of desensitising. Um, and really getting him used to things. But notice how me just being on the block, being that little bit higher up and being on the other side is a big deal. I can do all this on the ground, but as soon as you step up a height, different story. So here I'm on the um, left side and he's much more relaxed on the left. I've had to do twice, if not three times the amount on the right to get him as settled as he's on the left. And I do a lot of leading and handling on the other side as well. But again here, he knows to come round. He understands that on the ground. Um, so that's my cue to, is he relaxed? Is he going to let go or is he going to move? If he's unsettled, he'll move. If he's happy, he'll stay still. Again here, just going to move the forelock. <laughs> and I'm just going to give him a second to process. But this is really important, guys. Look at his little lip. Um, he his loves fuss, this going. pony. He absolutely, absolutely loves it. Loves and if you just take a few minutes to make a fuss of him, he will do anything for you. So again, step back in. And guys, I might just literally um, put a little bit of weight over him, lay over him, move my arms, move my legs a couple of times, put him back in the stable. Come back out a couple of hours later, do it again. Um, so this is something that you just can't overdo. Um, it's really important you just take your time. If they accept it a couple of times, you may stop there. Bring them back out a little bit later. So here I'm starting to move my legs. You notice I just list, lifted my head and, and top half up a little bit. Just in case anything happens, I'm more balanced so I can come back on my feet. You don't want to be leaning too far over. Doing all this, they move, you land on your head. So again, experience, guys. Um, just be thoughtful about where your weight is. And again, landing back on the block. 
But you can see he wasn't as settled there and he's moved. So I'm just going to come back down. I'll probably lower his head again, give him a few minutes, start again. So here I'm using, um, putting my legs over. Now he's small, so that's great. Um, but I'm going to put my legs all over him, move my arms. But here he's unsettled again. So I'm just going to straighten him up. And I've put this video a little bit quicker because obviously I want you to see as much as possible and to appreciate how long this has taken, but not bore you to tears. So now I've got the bigger block. So I started with the little one because it's not so bright and it's a bit smaller. It's easier to push out the way if he panics. Now I'm aware that I've done a bit more. I'm going to bring the big block in. And also I'm lighter than on his back. Um, and here, this is a great clip. He's completely fried. He's just gone. He's out of the room, exhausted. Um, even the finger in the mouth's not working. So bless him. He's been really good. But I thought I'd put this clip in. I did get him to relax, but, you know, he almost needs a day or two to just process what we've done. Um, and obviously, these are lots of different clips over different days. Now, Prince, he's only three, but he's a completely different pony. He's quite relaxed. He has no reason to be frightened. Nothing's happened to him. Um, and you can see that I'm just playing around. He's got the rope holter on. I think he's got his leather head collar over the top because I've obviously had him tied up to do his feet. Um, but I'm just playing around with his legs over, jumping up and down the block. And I've done the same, so I'm not going to put everything in here to bore you guys. But again, here he's moving. A lot of that will be getting used to my weight. Some of it will be inquisitive. He really is quite inquisitive, this pony. Um, but he's quite relaxed as well, which is really nice. And sometimes, guys, I'm doing this on my own. So I might have put the Pivo on um, or balanced my phone onto something so I can get as much footage as possible. But here I'm just going to have Adele's help, which is lovely, so he can learn to stand still. And it is important. The reason I've gone back to having help is that I don't want him to start moving. Um, but you can see I'm getting on, jumping off the other side. I'll get on from the other side, jump back on again. And it's just important that you can do everything from both sides um, and they get used to the fact that, you know, it's all OK. Now, some of this, I think, is my weight. You know, he's moving around because he's trying to get used to balancing himself. Um, we have a bit of a giggle here saying, please, will this pony grow? I would love this pony to be 14 something. But at the moment he's about 12, 3. Um, I'm hoping to make him a nice child's pony if he doesn't grow big enough for me. So going back to Duke, uh, back to the block, moving my feet. And you can see his eyes a little bit more relaxed here. You know, his ears are back and forth on me. Again, obviously, I've um, pushed the video quicker. But you can see I'm rubbing all over him. I'm going to go to the other side. Um, again, five minutes processing. Notice I've moved the rope to this side. Again, I think this is really important because if you're laying over and something frightens them and they take off and lash out, you can pull their head towards you, which means the hind leg is more likely to go the other way. Um, so that for me is a really big deal, guys. Have the rope so you can pull the head towards you. You're just less likely to get hurt. And again here... You can see, slowly get on. I'm rocking around. My legs are all over his back and his bottom. And let's face it, when we get on, sometimes we're not as agile as we want to be. Something happens. You move your foot. You don't want them to be frightened of you touching their bottom in a different place. So doing all this early on, getting them used to things, you know, bopping them, bashing them in a nice manner, you know, is really, really important. And you can see occasionally he's moving his weight. This pony definitely had not been sat on before I got him because he really did have no idea how to balance himself with me on, especially when we started walking. Um, he just crossed his legs. It's quite funny. We've got all this on video. But you can see again here, the eyes changed. So I'm going to do a bit of swimming um, and he's not happy. Um, so he moves to the wall um that's his comfort place you know he kind of hides up to the wall and he did a lot of this in the stable when we first got him we started picking his feet out um that is his go-to so that for me is the cue to stop give him a minute make a fuss of him um rock his neck just relax him again but you can see he's gone into shutdown mode um and i think whatever's happened to this pony in the past he's done this a lot the first few weeks of getting him, I was really worried that he had no personality. Um, but actually, I don't think it was that. I think he was just shut down. He'd learnt to cope with whatever had happened by shutting down, switching off. So I'm going to take five minutes. I'm going to bring Smudge in again, start making a fuss of Smudge. And then he starts to come back in the room. 
So he starts to go, OK, maybe it's all right. And then he wants to join in the fuss. And this is what's so important and why I put the picture in at the beginning. You know, this pony really does need some time and some TLC. But you can see here he's like, oh, maybe it's OK. And this is quite heart wrenching for me. You know, I really feel that whatever has happened, he's just really lucky that he's with me and I'm hoping that I can do my best and take my time and read the situations right and give him that time. But I'm really chuffed with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is just give him a few more minutes and then what I'd like is to be able to get back on, make a fuss and leave it there. And I might give him a couple of days to think about that. I might just go and do some agility work with him, which he likes and enjoys without any pressure. So you can see just very quietly moving back and he's just a bit unsure. The eyes changed again. Um, so I'm just going to check that he's with me by lowering him again. Just pushing Pup out there, just in case he does shoot forward. Try and make sure we're as safe as possible. Again, he's not quite there. So he's holding. So finger in the mouth, like the beginning of the video. You can see where this video has come from now. Relax down. Come back in the room. There's a good boy. So pressure and release. Make a fuss. All I want to be able to do is get back on quietly. So I do. I finish on a happy note where he doesn't step back into the wall. Again, notice the ropes this side. Just very quietly, over I go. Just giving him that time. Just making sure the dog is out. Quietly get on. Brilliant. He might just adjust his weight, squares himself up. Perfect. Put my seat bones on very quietly. Yeah, really pleased. Good boy. Just going to sit it out until he stands. And takes a breath. Now, obviously, being bareback, you can feel a lot. I always back mine um, bareback because I want to feel what's going on through my seat. And I do not put my seat bones on straight away. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. But really pleased with that. So another day, we've come back out, uh, kicking the block, moving the block around. Obviously, I've put this quicker again. Um, but it's just you know, each day doing something different. So I've just put this in in speed because these will be the next set of videos. Um, teaching the horse to be confident about you being up high um, because I've noticed with Duke that different from the left eye to the right eye is different, also being higher. And I'll explain again in some of the next videos. And just to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, confidence about we can get there. Um, these will be the next clips. But obviously this is weeks and weeks down the line. But you can see little Prince there is quite happy. Really pleased with him. And I'm literally just sitting on, um, making sure that he's happy with it. And I shall turn him away. He's only three. Um, and he needs a lot more time to grow and mature. But he really is an absolute sweetheart. Next little clip, again, is probably... Oh, crikey, weeks and weeks down the line with Duke. Oh, crikey, weeks and weeks down the line with Duke. And I'm just sitting on him very gently sideways where I've got my um, weight still on the block. And again, guys, if you've seen my videos, you'll know that I do a lot of softness, flexing left and right, lowering of the head. That's really important. But me coming out and getting on on the block was a really big deal. A really big deal. So there'll be lots more videos showing you how to manage getting on and off in different environments, um, different places, but also learning how to manage um, when your horse is unsure um, and what tools you can use. But I'm really pleased with this. You know, this is much more relaxed. Um, and I think I've got my phone on the Pivo or balanced on the wheelie bin. Um, so it's not always the best picture, but really, really pleased with this. So guys, it takes time, but patience and it pays off. Good pony. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm really pleased with these ponies. I'm having a lot of fun. But more so for this video, I'm hoping that it gives you all confidence that he will come right. Some horses just take a little more time than others. Um, and if you just be patient, read the situation, the horse lets you know when it's ready. Um, and it is exciting. You know, if you can do it quietly, do it safely, you just build that bond and trust. So guys, please like and share. Um, subscribe to the channel. Click on the little bell, then we can let you know when more videos come in. Um, and we've got lots more that are starting to get really exciting now. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks very much.